In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the TV glitch effect in all films. I also just wanted to let you guys know that I recently launched a new editing pack called the TV Glitch Pack V3. And if you guys are interested in that pack, you can use the discount code for it. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. But let's get right into the tutorial here. So I've already added a clip here and uh, we're going to be adding the effect on that basically. You're going to be making a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And the first effect you're going to be adding is called Wave Warp. And here we're going to be changing the wave type to smooth noise and then set the wave height to 75, the wave width to 350, then change the direction to 0 degrees, increase the wave speed to 2.5, on the pinning choose a vertical edges and it's going to look something like this here. After that we're going to be duplicating this wave warp effect so press ctrl D and here we're going to be dragging down the wave height to 20 and then the wave width to 10. That should be good. After that, we're going to be adding hue and saturation. And here we're going to set the master saturation to minus 75. So something like this. After that, we're going to be adding sharpen. Increase the sharpen amount to 300. And after that, we're going to be adding mosaic. And here, increase the blocks to 250. So it looks something like this now. After that, we're going to be adding glow. Set the glow threshold around 40. And that should be good. After that, duplicate the glow by pressing Ctrl D. Then increase the glow threshold to around 25%. Then increase the glow radius to 250. Then decrease the glow intensity to 0 0.6, 0 0.5 around there. Then control D again. And this time set the glow threshold to around 13%. Increase the glow radius to 500. And then increase the glow intensity to 0 0.2. And this is how the TV glitch effect is going to look like. I think it looks pretty cool and if you're satisfied with this you can mark all the effects by pressing ctrl a and then go up to animation save animation preset and then name your uh, preset save it uh, and then you can use it uh, for later we also have a tv glitch pack which is available at our website and i'm going to be showing you guys a example on how one of the effects is going to look so make an adjustment layer and here, if you have the pack, you're going to be adding the TV Glitch V3 Effect 7. And this is the look you will be getting. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. And if you're interested in this pack, it's going to be linked in the description. And you can also use a discount code for it. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And don't forget to check out our socials, especially our Instagram. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.